Hi, I'm Sandra, the creator at Sing Play Create, and today I'm going to share some stretchy band music lesson activities. I'll be sharing some ways that you can scaffold these activities from kindergarten up to third grade. I'm going to show you how to integrate instrument activities and a stretchy band in one activity. And I'm going to show you how to use these activities over three or four different lesson periods. Some of the learning goals that we'll be applying to these activities are going to be playing a steady beat, we're going to play a rhythm, ostinato, we're also going to play instruments, and we're going to sing songs, and of course we're going to do some movement. Sing Play Great has stretchy band activities, you can find them on TPT or our website, and of course I'll leave the links in the description to the Bear Paw Crete stretchy band and all of our activities. All the songs are also on your favorite music channels. After I go through all the directions, I am going to demonstrate what this would look like with the song. So I'll just do an explainer first, and then I will show you how it looks with the music. Let's get to the activities. Activity number one is going to be for our kindergartners, or you can start everybody on this activity. We're going to really focus on the steady beat. If you're just doing the stretchy band for the first time, it's nice to just start off sitting down. So uh, it takes them a little bit to get used to. We got a lot of giggles with everybody sharing and we're bouncing together. And so we're just going to get to know our stretchy band and we're going to try and play the steady beat. I do like to use instrumental background music to play the beat and not necessarily a song they're singing. In kindergarten that might be too difficult and we really just want to focus on playing that steady beat. I'm going to use a song that I wrote called Let's Walk Around the Sun. And it's a song about taking a walk through nature and we're going to see lots of things in nature and we're going to use it to play the beat. It has a nice steady beat to it and one that will be easy for the students to follow. The song pattern is ABA. So on the A section, we're going to use just really nice, easy bouncing. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun. And then on the B section, where we're talking about the things we're going to see in nature, then we're going to do some high up here, and then we're going to move it low down here. We're going to do little bounces and big bounces. And I'm going to just then go through the sections of the song and model it, have them do it with me. I'm not going to worry too much about the song itself. It's mainly to get us playing the steady beat. I'm sharing three different songs in this video that you could use as a complete music lesson. So you could go on to part B if you only wanted to use this song as the music lesson, or you could go on to the other activities I'm going to share as part of a complete lesson. So I'm going to share the lesson, what I call lesson B part now. So in lesson B, I'm going to start with just a review of bouncing here, bouncing little, Bouncing big up here, above our head, big. And we're going to go through that activity, and then we're going to play it with the music, and we can play it with just the karaoke version, or we can play it with the singing voices, and actually you can use any song to do that kind of activity, and choose the parts you want to do little, choose the parts you want to be big, and then teach them, model it, and practice it a couple times with the music. For the B lesson, after we review how to play in the middle, little, and big, we're going to then do it standing. And uh, in my classroom, we have dots on the floor. So they're going to stand on the dots and make a circle. And then we're going to practice first the actions without music, bouncing on the beat. And then when we do little, we're going to go all the way down to our toes. And then we're going to go way up high here. This is my pretend band, if you didn't notice. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go through the actions. Hopefully, they'll remember the form of the song a little bit. You could dive into the form of the song in lesson B and say, which part came first, this part or this part or this part? And hopefully, they might know the order, and that's just the beginning form of the song. And then we're going to play the song with the music. Using the same song with an ABA pattern, we taught them to sit, we taught them to stand, and now we're going to practice walking in the circle and bouncing. So on the A section, we're actually going to turn this way and hold the band here, and we're going to walk around the circle on the A section. 
So when I'm teaching this, I'm going to talk through it first. I'm not going to use the music. We're going to go through the song. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun. Da, 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 da. Stop after A section. And then we're going to turn and take both our hands on a stretchy band. And we're going to do the little bounces right in place. And the big bounces. And then we're going to come back to the middle. And there will be enough time for them to turn and walk. And some of them might want to do two hands, that's okay. We're just going to go like this. That can be another extension activity you can do with kindergarten over three class times. So let's get to the activity. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun until the day is done. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun until the day is done. Look at all the flowers, the mountains and the trees. Let's keep on walking and see what we can see. Ducks by the pond or dolphins in the sea. Let's keep on walking. It's good for you and me. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun until the day is done. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun. Let's walk around the sun. Until the day is done Look at the rainbow Color in the sky Let's keep on walking To see what we walk by Bears in the forest Or eagles flying high Let's keep on walking Until we say goodbye Let's walk around the sun Let's walk around the sun, let's walk around the sun, until the day is done. Let's walk around the sun, let's walk around the sun, let's walk around the sun, until the day is done. Alright, this activity I'm really excited about because it can really be scaffolded across you can even do this in fourth grade with the right song. So we're going to start at the very beginning, and the learning goal is going to be to play a rhythm pattern on the stretchy band while we're singing. So it's going to be those two things that we're doing. And then this activity is going to be spread out over three and possibly four, depending how far you want to take it. But I think you'll need at least two times to do the activity because they will need to practice the band first and also be able to sing and play the band at the same time. Then in lesson two, we're going to bring in some instruments. And if you have your instruments set up in stations already in your room, you can leave them there. Or if you want to, you can bring them to the middle of the circle. And we're going to have the instruments play the beat part, the rhythm part, and we're going to have them play the melody rhythm. Now, if I'm going to do those three things, I'm probably going to do that in first at the minimum grade, but it would be a really great activity for second and third grade. If it's a song that you've been working on in your class and you want to add stretchy band to this now, and your students know how to play the melody on xylophone, then you could use that song for the activity and just bring the stretchy band into your already taught and learned song that you've been working on with them. The song I'm going to demonstrate is one, two, three, four, five fish, uh, fish chant song because it's easy and also it has our famous rhythm in it. Or one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to use that as the repeating rhythm as we sing the song. So lesson one is going to be singing the song. Make sure they've got the song down. And we're just going to play the beat as we sing the song. 
one, two, three, four, five, and, and we're singing the song. And do that even if they know it because we want to give them experience playing the beat on the band, with the band. Then we're going to introduce the rhythm part. And so we'll have them not sing and just play the rhythm part. And so on. So we'll do all that. And like I said, I'm going to demonstrate this after I do the explainer of how this would work in your classroom. Then we're going to try singing and playing the rhythm part. Depending on your class, that may be enough for one class time. Then the next lesson is going to be integrating some instrument. Play the beat. We're going to have maybe a drum play the beat. And then we're going to have the rhythmic ostinato part playing and we might choose rhythm sticks. And then we're going to mimic the melody rhythm and I would choose something that's maybe softer like a shaker to play with that part. So we're going to have the three parts that we're going to have students playing and we're also going to have the band activity. So as you can see, you already have groups divided by color with your bands. Or if you have three on each color, you might say, okay, one of those is drum, one of those is shaker beat, rhythm and melody rhythm. If you're using this in a third or fourth grade activity, maybe second grade too, and they can play the melody, then you could put a xylophone there instead of the shaker. So there's some options for you to scaffold this depending on the class and the grade and what they're learning, what they've been working on. If you're doing this with kindergarten or even beginning first grade, you could have them play the beat and just take turns playing on drums. Go take a turn at the drum and they'll play the beat while the rest of the class plays the band. Another option is to bring one instrument part into the activity at a time. So if you really wanted to stretch this activity out, <laughs> then you could say, okay, we're just going to have the beat playing. The next class time, you could have them just take turns playing the rhythm. The next time you could have them just take turns playing the melody. So this could turn out to be a whole unit of activities. You could have them put it all together. The main thing is you just don't want to move faster than your kiddos can handle. You want to keep the pace, what they can do, and it's better for them to really get it than to quickly keep going on. And it makes it more fun. They feel like they've accomplished something. They feel really good about what they did. They feel really good about what they did. And to me, this is kind of the ultimate experience in our music classroom where they're really starting to learn how music works together. For this activity, you could also add in some movement. Let's say your instruments are on the outside, you have a circle with the band, you could have a group in the middle doing some movement, a fish, mm -hmm. you know, we could have a little fish in the middle, responding to the music, or moving on the pattern, or they could create the little body percussion, for that rhythm part too. There's lots of ways you could differentiate these activities to meet the needs of your classes and also use the same activity over, okay, one, two, three, four, and with the right song, fourth grade too. So five grade levels could do a similar type activity and you could just say, you know, this month I'm doing stretchy band and I'm gonna have them integrate all the other skills we've been working with, and it's kind of like stations, and we're gonna be putting it all together, and we're gonna be singing, moving, and playing at the end of this unit. You can tell I get excited about these kind of things because I see so much growth in the kids when they do this kind of activity. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then 
let him go again Another thing that I have found really important to do when you're using scarves or stretchy bands or any kind of props is to have some kind of a calm down activity prepared so that once we're done doing all this noisy busy stuff, we come together and we come down with our emotions and our energy and we get calm, especially if it's the end of class, we want to get them calm and then they can line up and can go on to the next thing. So I came up with a calm down activity that we can use. What I recommend is to have the same calm down activity that you use for every stretchy band activity. It creates a nice, safe, calm environment and repeating the activity every time you do stretchy bands will help your students and children feel that. For a calm down activity, you can choose a quieter song that you like. I have one I'm going to share with you in this video. It's called Rainbows in the Sky. And our, this is our rainbow. And we're just going to do some high and low movement throughout the song. Rainbows in the sky, colors floating by. And we're going to do some soft bouncing. And then in part of the song, the B section, we're going to go down to our toes and we're going to go low, higher and higher, they climb and then it repeats rainbows in the sky and we're just going to do it nice, soft, bouncing and then at the end, if everybody can, sit down quietly at the very end of the song and then release the band at the end of the song. Rainbows in the sky Waving up so high Sparkling in the sunshine Colors floating by Rainbows in the sky Waving up so high Sparkling in the sunshine in the sky Waving up so high Sparkling in the sunshine Colors floating by Rainbows in the sky Rainbows in the sky I hope you got some good ideas about using stretchy bands in your music classroom or at your at-home music lessons. They're a wonderful movement prop that can help you teach music concepts. They also help our students burn some energy, channel their emotions, and they can be a very calming and exciting activity when used correctly. Thanks for watching. Let's keep kids moving and learning with music.